What's next, I hear you ask? Well, there's a secret star in the Honeybloom Galaxy. Somewhere. So, that's what's next. We're just carrying on, finding more stars. And this is just the next one we're doing. Bumble Beginnings. I hope you remember this level. It was the first B level. All the way back in World 2, probably episode... I don't even know. 7? 8? 14? I made that up. I've got no idea when it was. Right. Where in the world will this secret star be? I actually don't know. Oh no, I remember this. I spent ages trying to climb up all of these things and then there was nothing up there. Right, where are we going? Am I allowed to fall down here? Yes. Is this where the secret star is? No. Oh, hang on. Just in case it's a Luma, we should collect as many coins as possible. I've been caught out by that before. As you know, because you've watched the series, I hope. If not, well, go back and watch. Go on. I'll wait. Okay, I haven't seen it yet, but that doesn't mean it's not here. Make sure to get some star bits because we've got that hungry Luma. Don't forget her. I don't know if it's a her. I'm going to say it is. Right, okay. Anything this way? No, I can't get past the washing line of magical stopping power. I don't, I don't need to read you. I'm just going to go this way. Maybe it's up here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Keep on going. Not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm going to guess it's probably in a pipe rather than a Luma because... I don't know. I just have that feeling. I haven't seen anything yet. Keeping my eyes peeled. Right, I can see the normal star. But I cannot see any secret stars. Oh. May as well come up here because in case we need coins. Oh, well. Never mind about the whole coins thing. It's not going to happen, is it? Oh, we've got some. It's better than none. Just going to nip down here just in case. Oh, I tell you what. Getting near the end of this game is going to be really tedious, isn't it? It's just going to be looking for secret things in various levels. Probably most of the time trying to get trying to get enough coins. Oh dear. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that I wouldn't die if I fell down. That's lucky. Yeah, it's just going to be trying to find coin medals, trying to find secret stars, trying to get enough coins or star bits for certain loomers. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, won't we? Okay. Just bounce on the berries. Bouncy berries. Oh! Too much bouncing! Okay. Yet another checkpoint. That's a black hole. Don't go down that way. The secret is not down there. I know that for a fact. Oh, buttocks! Wow, that was very close. We don't touch the spider. Remember, Mario, no touching the spider. The spider doesn't like being touched. Let's just go over this side. There we go. Now let's make sure we get the coins from this one. Oh no! I saw that coming. Luckily, they're very uh, generous with the B power ups in this level. It's not up there. I suppose in theory it could be up here. It looks like this is just going to be star bits though. Also, I failed miserably at getting up there. Here we go. Oh, too much leftness. Wait, that was right. Not correct. It was the direction right. The opposite of left. 
I know what I'm talking about, and hopefully you do too. Uh, well, unless it's up here, which I doubt, because this looks much too tall to... Yeah. Okay. So it's not up here. Where is it then? This is a bee mystery. Oh, maybe it's up... Maybe it was up the top of that one. No, that would be too mean. Because there's no way back up there if you've missed it. That definitely feels too mean to me. Maybe it's down underneath here? I'm not going to lie, this looks like death. This is death. This is definitely death. Yeah. Well, it was worth looking because we need to find it eventually, so... And also, we didn't have to go... Oh no, I lost all my coins. Hopefully I don't need them. Wait, it's not down here, is it? Nope, this is just Star Bits. Of course it is. Because everyone's so desperate for Star Bits that they're willing to fly close to a black hole. Got it. Oh, I haven't been collecting enough coins. Well, I mean, I died, so I don't. I'm never gonna have enough, am I? Plus, I feel like they normally put the coin loom is fairly close to the start of the level, so that you don't have to retry the whole thing when you do the secret star and come back. But what do I know? I just play this game. Okay, that failed miserably. I was trying to get up the top of it again. I don't think they'd put it up there. But I don't know. Right. Anything around here? Oh dear, forgot about these guys. Right. Shout out if you see it. But if you could shout out, like, in the reverse dimension so that it gets back to me now. Hang on, let me just stand here so I can listen. No one shouted. Well, that was a waste of time, investing all that money into time travel. Right, okay, I've seen a black hole down there. I really don't want to have to use a walkthrough, but if I don't find it, eventually I'm going to have to use one. I'm sorry to tell you that fact, but... Right, it's not down there, right? Probably. I've actually got zero idea where this thing is. Maybe I can get on top of this log? Well, I could if I didn't suck so hard. Right, get onto the other cloud and use that instead. Come on, move. There you go. Right, we don't want to collect the star. We've already got that one. Wait! Do you remember, like, halfway back through the level when I said, I can see the star? Yeah, that was a different star. Oh! Okay, well, we're starting this again then, aren't we? See, we went past it and no one shouted back through time to tell me that we'd gone past it. I tell you, I am not inventing any more interdimensional travel methods. Oh, this level looks familiar. I wonder why that is. Right, where is this? Where was it? Keep an eye out this time. Also, don't forget you can skip those. Okay. Here we go. I didn't actually collect any of those star bits. But whatever. At least we know sort of where it might be. Well, I mean, we know where it is. We just don't know how to get to it yet. I think I have an idea. It's gonna be up here, isn't it? No, this was just star bits. Wait, isn't that the one that I tried for about eight or nine goes in the original episode? Oh, I can't believe that. If I'd have actually persevered, I could have got myself a secret star. 
Oh well, we got it now. That was interesting actually, it was just hidden in the level rather than being a Luma or a Pipe or anything. I wonder if there are going to be more like that. I'd expect so, because it's a bit weird to have a single star in that style. Okay, we're sort of close to having enough star bits to feed the Luma in World 6. What now? Looks like we have a bee on board. Keep it away from me. I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell right up. Good for you. I do like watching him though. Think he knows any good bee tricks? What, what are bee tricks? When have you ever heard of bee tricks? Like dogs do tricks. Performing seals do tricks. Maybe if you're very lucky, a cat might do a trick. I mean, I saw a cat sit with some ham once. A cat will sit for ham. That's what we learned. But bees, no. You don't. You don't hear about bee do it. Bees doing tricks, do you? Right. Let's have a look at the star list. See what we're missing. Okay, we've got the secret star in Boulder Bowl. So I guess we'll go back there yet again. We did go back there in the other episode and couldn't find it. But maybe we'll have better luck this time. Oh, I remember. It's because I jumped off the edge of the level and I couldn't be bothered to carry on. Right. Is it going to be hidden or is it going to be... I mean, the galaxy had the little picture of the hedgehog on it. So I'm guessing it's going to be a pipe somewhere. Because the hedgehog sub-level things are always on pipes. But I don't know. Right. Oh, I forgot how annoying this level actually is. All right, Mr. Show Off. Oh, so you can not get hit when he starts shooting in this level. But in the level where we had to try that hundreds of times in a row, you're like, oh no, I'm going to get hit. Sorry. I know there's only a comet medal behind here, but I want to collect it just in case. And I'm just going to have a quick look around with the camera. There's an extra life here. Why not? Okay. Can I get up there? No, I should have jumped. But I learned my lesson about jumping in the rock power up last time, so I'm not going to do that. Is it possible to get a strike here? I don't think it is. Maybe you have to get a strike to unlock the secret level. I doubt that. Wait. Oh, I know. I was going to say, if you look over there on the left hand side, there's a glowing thing that looks a bit like a where a star will be. But I have a feeling that's the end of the level because it looks like the boss. Yeah, that's the planet where the boss was on. Right. We are not going to destroy the platform this time. I hope. Okay. Make sure we collect the star bits. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This feels like I'm going to hit. Yeah, the side. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay, more star bits. Right, do not press jump. It was very tempting to press jump there. Because for some reason I I keep thinking that... Oh god, no! I did it there. I keep thinking that jump will stop you from rolling. But all it does is just make you jump over the edge. So don't do that. Right. I take it it's not possible to just kill them all without the rock power up. I don't know. It feels kind of doable, to be honest. Apart from when they do that. It's a shame that I'm not getting extra bonuses for doing it here. Because, I mean, look at all those stomping tricks that I've learned from those two monkey levels. But yet yeah, they're kind of useless in this level, aren't they? I mean, it's getting... To, oh god. It's getting through the enemies quite fast. But it's not giving me any extra bonuses or anything. There we go. I just want to get as many of them as I can before I pick up the rock so I don't accidentally jump off the edge again. Well, I should have seen that coming. Oh, you don't have to destroy the big boulders. I thought you were going to have to. I'm going to anyway, because star bits. 
There we go. Delicious, tasty star bits. As long as you're a Luma anyway, I don't think they're that tasty, to be honest. They're a bit crunchy for my liking. Oh, is this one of those ones where there's an extra launch star in the middle? No. I do have to keep an eye out for levels like that, though. Talk. If you need health, shoot a star bit in one of those shiny spots on the ground. A coin will pop out that will restore some of your life. Thanks for the tip. Probably would have been more helpful when I just started the game. But, I don't, I don't know. Good enough, I guess. Maybe I need to check all of these in case there's a pipe hidden in one of them. That's a Goomba, not a pipe. I know this, they're quite similar. Pipes and Goombas are quite similar to each other, but they're not quite the same, so it's not quite as useful as you would hope. Sorry. Oh, there he is. I knew I was looking for a hedgehog. There we go. Well, he's more of a robot than a hedgehog, but he looks a bit like a hedgehog. At least he's not a porcupine. Looking for a star? You won't believe it. I found a star in a dump the other day. The things people throw away. Maybe we can work out a trade. What are we trading? I'm really into collecting those Goomba guys. Think you could bring me one? Oh god, what if I've killed all the Goombas? Uh-oh. This could end badly. Oh, you, I forgot you can't destroy them. Oh, I'm really worried now that I've actually killed all the Goombas already. Uh-oh. Where is one of those coiny bits? I don't know. Oh. Hang on. Boop. Thank you. Get out of the mud. Come on. Out you get. There's a good Mario. Right, where's a rock power up? Uh, over here, I think. There we go. Out of the way. Right, I really hope there's a Goomba in here. Nope, there's a pipe. Am I seriously going to have to restart this? I think I am. Unless there's one round here. No, nope, I've already been round here. Could be one round the other side. Well, let me just investigate. I don't think so. Well, we'll know for next time, won't we? I think it's probably quicker to die and then come back from the checkpoint. Come on, kill me. Kill me! How is it so hard to get killed? Oh no, what a shame. I appear to have died. Where was the checkpoint? Oh my god, all the way back here. Oh dearie me. Okay, this is fine. Maybe this is quick quicker with the rock power up. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the rock. Wee! Right. Sorry. Right, that was not fair. I'm just gonna say that. How is it fair that I can be killed while spinning up the rock power up? It's not like I can affect how long it takes. Is there a way to cancel the roll? Yes, you can ground pound. Okay. That's good to know. But you'll notice ground pounding involves jumping. And jumping with the rock power up is not something I like to do. On purpose, anyway. This part is really tedious. You're all going to die. Okay, none of you died that time. I swear they're respawning. There weren't this many of them before. Also, where are some coins, please? There's one. Bring it to me. There we go. Really? Well, that solved that problem. One left, I take it. Ooh, look at all those star bits. Oi! That's it. You can't move. That's cheating. Right. 
Pay attention. We do not want to get the Goombas out of the things before we've talked to Mr. Robot. Speaking of Mr. Robot, by the way, go watch that show if you're interested in that kind of thing. It's the only show I know where they actually try to make the computer stuff realistic. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, let's work out a trade. I'll bring you a Goomba, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, Mr. Robot, it's on uh, Amazon video thingy, I think. Anyway, yeah, if you like that kind of thing, why not try it? Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I, thought I was going to kill him. There you go. I don't know what he wants a Goomba for. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, look at this adorable little guy. So cute and ferocious. Thanks. Here, you go ahead and have this star. Go on, take it. You deserve it. Do I really, though? All I did was bring you a Goomba. I feel like that's not really worth a star. But I'm not going to complain. I am going to jump on your head, though, apparently. Mario is so rude. He's just constantly jumping on people's heads, isn't he? All they want is a nice conversation, a little bit of a chat, and he's like, no, I'm gonna jump on you. Okay, there we go. Another star. 75. And another galaxy complete. And we've only got 119 star bits left to get before we can feed old McLuma chops. Oh boy, tell me you didn't bring back a gamer with you this time. Well, put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe it'll want to relax for a bit. It doesn't look very relaxed, does it? I don't think relaxed is an emotion programmed into those robots. Really? Well, I guess we do need star bits. Oh, speaking of which... Where's Thingy Bob? Uh, Bank Toad. He might have some for me. Stop picking your own nose, Mario. Actually, I'd rather you were picking your own nose than picking someone else's nose, to be honest. Bank Toad, where are you? Oh, here he is. Hello. Do you have any for me? Hello. You have... Get on with it. Eight. Wow. Wow, you've got nine whole star bits. Oh, what would I do without you? God's sake. Yay, look how much closer we are now. Anyway, another level? Why not? Okay, star list again, please. Right, we've only got comet medals left on this level, so world three. Tall Trunk Galaxy has a secondary star, so let's go do that. World three. I don't remember Tall Trunk Galaxy. Oh yeah, I do. Yes, I do. I thought this was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a slide. And then it wasn't, and I was disappointed. Yeah. Oh well. What's it gonna be? Tool Trunks Big Slide. Of course it is. Why would I? Oh. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, this looks terrifying. Okay. I can do this. Also, is this gonna use the Super Mario 64 slide music? Because that would be good. Oh, Luigi, just stop it. No one wants you. Okay, he's going to come and kill me. Maybe I just have to get on the slide. Where is the slide, by the way? Do I have to find it? I guess I just have to go around the level until I get to it. He's so happy, isn't he? You'd think that a plumber wouldn't enjoy climbing trees. It's not really in the job description, is it? Right, here we go. We're not really sure what the point of that first section was. Why couldn't we just start up here? I guess each level has to start in the same place. Here we... Yeah, it's the music! Oh god! How am I supposed to avoid that? Can I jump? Oh, I can. Okay, that would explain it. No wiggler, thank you. Also, am I, am I meant to be popping balloons or something? Apparently I can pop them. Don't know if it's any use. 
Get out of the way. Right. Oh, there's a hole. At least there are enough coins that I can... Oh, God. I can collect more health if I need it. This is a lot harder than the Super Mario 64 slide. Not that I've ever actually done it myself, but I have seen it played. That counts, right? Oh, God. I'm upside down. I'm upside down. Yeah, that didn't go well at all. I actually, I'm enjoying this one, though. This is a lot of fun. Oh, thanks for the tip. Don't touch the sharp red things. The annoying part is when you can't you can't really tell where you're supposed to go, like what what direction you're supposed to be facing. I was trying to get the. Oh, that didn't. Okay, that just all went totally wrong. I tried to get the extra life. I thought I went through it and missed, so I was too busy being distracted by that, and then forgot to pay attention to where the floor was. Here we go. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Okay. I mean, there's a bit of a path, like the the bit where you're supposed to slide is kind of worn out, as if lots of people have already done it. So I guess that sort of helps. But it's the later parts that are hard. Oh! Also, the controls aren't that responsive, I'll be honest. Oh, I meant to go this way. At least the wiggler wasn't a problem that time. Oh dear! At least you're still allowed to spin as well. It'd be so much harder if you couldn't spin. Oh! So what's the rules about when gravity affects you and when it doesn't? Because sometimes he corrects himself and lands back on it, and other times he doesn't. I wish I knew. Might make it a bit easier, you know. Or a, at all possible. This is one of those levels, isn't it? Starts off fun, and then it gets to the tedious keep dying part. The problem is, when you get. When you keep dying on later sections, you get too impatient with the early sections. And so you try and do it too quickly without paying too much attention. And you fail miserably. Oh, I wish I could get that extra life. It would mean that I wasn't gonna get a game over next time I die. Like that. See, why did he not reorient himself that time, but he did last time? Ah. <sighs> You know what this means? We just have to start back from- SHUT UP! That guy is the worst. I don't know what his name is, but... He should be called... Johnny Annoying. There you go. That's his new name, Johnny Annoying. He just never shuts up. And he's got such an annoying accent. Half the time it's Welsh, half the time it's Yorkshire. We should just make his mind up. Right, we're gonna have a couple more goes at this, and we're just gonna give up. Because episodes are half an hour, and we're coming up very close on half an hour. Okay, what was that all about? Here we go, come on. All we have to do is climb this tree for no reason. I wonder how close I was to the end of the slide, because it was getting pretty hard. I don't know. Okay, come on. It would be really nice if we could collect the extra life each time, but it seems really difficult. And the more I try to collect it, the more times I die, so maybe I shouldn't. Here we go. Again. Oh, for God's sake. At least there's coins. Right, let's just pay attention to the path and ignore collecting things. I am going to try this extra life, though. And of course, I failed. You know, hitting that spike there actually slows you down quite nicely, ready for this section. See, that time he readjusted to where the floor was. I don't understand. Mr. Wiggler, thank you. I just wanted him to get out of the way. Oh, it's so difficult to tell. No! 
Oh, this is this is uh, it. It started out fun, but it's getting hard. I don't know why the easy parts get hard. Because I think the furthest I got was the first go. So you work that one out. I think it didn't help that I hadn't worked out you could jump and spin. I think I'm trying to rely too much on spinning and it doesn't work. Oh, look at that. I didn't really try very hard to get the extra life and I got it that time. Maybe I should not try very hard at the level. Okay, that's not going to end well, is it? Come on. That's it. Perfect timing of the Wiggler. This is the part where it gets hard, where it starts twisting around on itself. Because I find it quite hard to get the right positioning. Okay, is this the furthest we've ever got? I feel like it is. Uh-oh. This isn't going to end well. Oh, I got so thin. Okay, you can't jump over these ones. How did I avoid that wig? Oh, no. Oh, my God. How am I alive right now? Oh, my God. I cannot believe I managed that. Here is a symbol of courage. Take star. Thank you. What a perfect way to end an episode. With a nice, light-hearted, frustrating slide. There we go. It was fun. I mean, it's quite annoying when you keep dying on the easy parts, but it was still a fun slide. And that music. What more could you want? Yeah, 76 stars. Still not enough star bits, because I mean, I wasn't really going to collect enough in that one, was I? Please don't bring a tree man onto the thing. Looks like you brought back a whittle with you. I love those guys. I think he wants to talk to you about Comet Medals. Go give him a listen. Shouldn't take long. That's because he doesn't speak in proper English sentences. That's why it doesn't take long. Anyway, there we go. Another sort of successful Star Roundup episode. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.